Hello, English learners. Welcome back to the English with Michael YouTube channel. Great to have you here again. I know a lot of you like my outside English lessons where I'm giving you tours of London and England. Hopefully, I can do that more soon, but it does take some time. You know, it's not easy to go every week and go out and film a video. So I'll try my best to keep doing them. But for today, we've got an inside video and I think and hope it's going to be a useful one. So today I want to talk about improving your listening skills. So that's probably what you're doing right now, listening to me, right? So good job, that's step one. Um, but I think listening skills, really, really difficult part of English because it feels like you're not improving even day after day of practice, right? On the other hand, I think it's the simplest area to improve, in my opinion, because although it can feel difficult, you don't have to do much. You can just listen. That's all you have to do and you can improve. But today I'd like to talk about three different ways in which you can improve your listening, depending on how much time you have and what you enjoy. So I'm going to go through different methods today and see which one you like best. And you can practice these methods with anything you enjoy. It's always about enjoyment, remember, but podcasts are what I always recommend because I love podcasts. I listen to many hours every day. I have my own podcast, which is Level Up English podcast, so recommend that one. So many great English podcasts. Luke's English podcast, he has a fantastic one, which I'll link to these in the description. Six Minute English, if you want something a bit shorter, is very popular as well. So find what you like and stick with that for a while. So the first method of listening that you could consider trying is what I call passive listening. Passive listening is when you listen to something but you're not really paying much attention. Maybe it's on in the background, maybe you're listening while you're kind of working out at the gym. You're kind of understanding but you're not thinking too hard about it. You're not thinking too carefully about it. And now the advantage of doing it this way is it's very easy. You can do it all day, wherever you are, and it doesn't take much effort. So even if you're the busiest person in the world, I'm sure you have time to do this when you are, you know, going to the bathroom, right? Or washing the dishes, whatever you're doing. The disadvantages of this is that many studies I don't know about many, but some studies have suggested that it's not so helpful because you're not really processing what you're learning, what you're listening to. It's just kind of going in your brain and maybe subconsciously you might be picking things up. But unless you're really focused on it, it's hard to prove if you're actually learning much. So that's a disadvantage. It's better than nothing for sure, but maybe it's not the most efficient way to learn. The next method is a little bit more intense and this is called study listening. That's what I called it anyway, study listening. So you can kind of adapt it to suit your needs. But what I have done before is listen to an audio using either a transcript or subtitles. Many podcasts will include transcripts. I spend hours writing up my transcripts. So they're available if you listen to my podcast. And what you can do is you can listen to the entire episode or just five minutes, whatever you like, read along with the transcript while you're listening. You might even spot some mistakes, which you can correct yourself. That could be useful. As you're listening, read out loud as well. So it's good pronunciation practice for you. If there are many words that you do not know, you could consider adding them to your flashcards and studying these sentences and new vocabulary at another point in the day. But basically the idea here is to listen again and again, repeatedly, until you understand. So maybe try listening once with the subtitles, then turning off the subtitles, listening again. How much can you understand? If there's a word you don't understand, pause it, listen, read the transcript, keep listening until you can understand everything with no subtitles. Now, the advantage of this is it's an excellent way to get vocabulary and new phrases and grammar stuck inside your head. 
because it's that repetition, repetition. I used to do this quite a long time ago, years ago, and I still remember the phrases from my language learning days today. It's been years and I haven't heard them. I, it's still in my head. So just repeating out loud again and again and again really, really can help. The disadvantage of this is it's very time consuming. It takes a long time to do this. And depending on your, who you are, it may not be very fun. I quite enjoy it, but on the other hand, it does kind of ruin the TV show. If it's your favorite TV show and you're gonna be watching and listening 20 times, it's gonna get so boring, right? You're not, when you think about the show, it's gonna feel like study rather than enjoyment. So yeah, you have to have that balance and consider what's good for you. Another bonus one, which I've been trying recently, which is kind of connected, it's a different type of study listening, is writing the transcript yourself. I've been doing this recently and it's been so useful. I've learned so much about colloquial expressions. So basically listen to some audio, could be this video if you like, write down everything you hear, word for word, everything you hear. Then afterwards, look at the subtitles or transcript and see how much you got right. I think it will be really interesting to see how good your listening is. And maybe you'll see, oh, I thought he said this word, but actually he said this word. And it's really good to see that. And then you can listen once more if you want to, knowing what the actual words are. This is a really good method that I would recommend as well. The final way is probably gonna be the most popular way. This is what I'm calling focused listening. So you're not really studying, but you're focused. And this is good because it's a middle ground between the previous two points. And this is when you are gonna listen really carefully to an audio, and maybe even shorter is better because it's easier to stay focused for 10 minutes rather than one hour, right? But see if you can understand everything that's being said. Try to get out of the habit of your mind wandering and try to understand everything they're saying. If there are words you don't know that keep coming up again and again, you could consider using a dictionary app on your phone to research those words, but it's not necessary. It might help if you get really confused, but you don't have to look up every single word. So this is really good because you're actively using your mind to interpret what you're hearing. The downside of this is it can be a little bit frustrating if you are listening carefully and you don't understand most of what they're saying. That might be a sign that you need to find some easier audio to listen to, try something new. And another disadvantage is, unlike the study method, maybe there'll be less repetition because you're only hearing the phrases once. Maybe that's not a bad thing because maybe they're not important phrases, but at least in the study one, you're repeating the same words again and again, really allowing them to sink into your memory. So yeah, those are my three methods, which I will also put in the blog post in the link below if you want to see a review there. I hope it was helpful. I have tried all of them and I like them all. Maybe you could try and see which one works best for you, but let me know which is your favorite in the comments and hopefully one works for you. By the way, if you want to help support me and what I do on this channel and on my podcast, Level Up English, then you could consider checking out my membership site. So this is a great way for people to support me, keep me going, but also get some content in return. So we have private live lessons on Zoom. We have private videos and courses and podcast transcripts, all this kind of stuff. I don't usually mention this on YouTube, but I thought I'd do it today. So if you do like what I do and you want to see more and support me, then go to this link I'll put in the description levelupenglish.school. Okay, I'll leave the video here for today, but thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye for now.